Hello adventurers. Today's tale comes from a third party perspective, and by that I mean they were a party member, whilst another player and the dungeon master argued with one another, right up to the point that the campaign ends and friendships are lost. Let's get into it. Today's tale is called How My Very First Dungeon Dragons Group and Campaign Imploded. This is the story of how our player character and dungeon master butting heads eventually led to our group not so spectacularly imploding. For context, prior to this campaign I had only played a couple of one shots to get my feet wet. I hit it off with one of the dungeon masters and we became friends. He wanted to try running a homebrew campaign and knew a couple of people that would be interested. It's important to note that the DM was friends with all of us separately and had played with all of us separately. We didn't know each other prior to this and had never played together. So, the cast of characters. We have me, the cleric, the fighter, the druid, and of course our dungeon master. In the beginning our campaign was going really well. Our characters all meshed well and played off of each other's strengths. We had some really good RP moments and I was fully invested in the story. Kudos to our DM for making a compelling tale and weaving all of our characters' personal backstories into it. As stated before, I was a new player, and incidentally so was the druid. Similar to me, she had only played short games. The fighter, however, boasted years of playing Dungeons and & Dragons, and various other RPGs. I only say this to explain why I didn't notice some of the red flags before things got out of hand. I assumed that as a veteran, she knew what she was doing, and this is just how people played. Now, the fighter played a character that was pretty abrasive and stubborn. Generally, I have no issue with characters like that. Like I said earlier, our characters all managed to get along well, and sometimes this abrasiveness even made for some interesting RP moments. Our characters had some interesting interactions, as my character tended more towards diplomacy, and her way was usually frick you, I'm right. As time went on, these were less interesting RP moments, and more, I actively have a headache trying to deal with this nonsense. Instead of going beat by beat over everything that happened during our campaign, here's a sampling of some of the fighter's behaviours. The fighter at one point or another insulted almost every NPC we interacted with, even the ones we liked. My character worked double time to smooth feathers. The fighter questioned the DM, a lot, criticised his rulings, quoted the handbook at him, or sometimes just freaked out about encounters if they weren't balanced in our favour. Any chance that a character could die was immediately met with opposition. She would fully check out of any scene that didn't feature her character, to the point where she would interrupt us in voice chat to tell us about some video she was watching, or some funny meme she had just found. Anything she doesn't care about or doesn't want to make a decision on immediately deferred to my character. When I tried to have a discussion about it, she just reiterated that she would do whatever my character said. Especially being a first time player, I was uncomfortable having that much control over the group's decisions. It frankly also didn't make much sense for my character to want to be in control of all their decisions. She was very much a team player kind of person. She would end scenes abruptly by leaving, telling us out of character that she was bored with this, or having her character do something so the scene had to end. I love to roleplay, so this one especially upset me. There were a few times my character was having an intense moment, and it was brushed aside as if it didn't matter, which is hilarious considering the next point. Toward the end of our campaign, the fighter decided her character had a massive crush on mine. Which sounds alright on the surface I suppose, but her character showed no indication this was the case until one session, late into the campaign. She was suddenly all over my character, almost constantly. My character made it obvious, several times that she was still grieving over the loss of her wife and wasn't in a place to pursue romance, or at least I thought she did. This point isn't a grievous sin, just something that made me definitely uncomfortable. Leading up to our final bad session, the fighter and the DM had a few tiffs, so the energy of the group was rather… contentious, let's say. It's also important to note that prior to having what would be our final session, we had taken a break from the main campaign to join a campaign that the fighter DM'd. This went, um, interestingly. I have some wild stories from this one, but that campaign only seemed to heighten the negative energy between the fighter and the dungeon master. I'll skip all of the plot mumbo jumbo and jump straight into the incident. 
Back in our original campaign, our characters are discussing with the NPCs how best to break someone out of jail. The druid and I presented a few options that were shut down. The fighter presented an option that was interesting, but had a very minuscule chance of actually working. Something like all of the planets would have to align just so for this plan to work. After being shot down, she stops talking. The druid and I continue to brainstorm with our NPC pals, when abruptly, the fighter declares that she is leaving to go and do something else. We are obviously caught off guard, especially since we had finally agreed on a plan and we're in the process of fleshing it out. The DM, sensing the fighter's irritation, asked if there was something wrong. The fighter responds that yes, she's annoyed that our plans keep getting shot down. She doesn't appreciate the DM railroading us into a decision. I jumped to the DM's defence to say that I didn't think he was railroading us, rather the NPCs have more knowledge of the world currently than we do, and they're trying to help us. Plus, he did accept a few of our ideas, and we were currently working on fleshing them out. The fighter reiterates that she thinks this is dumb, and her character wants to leave. She feels like everyone thinks her character is stupid because nobody liked her idea. The DM responds that they didn't hate her idea, it just wasn't likely to work, and the NPCs didn't want to stake their only chance on that. The DM finally asks what he can do to make the game better for the fighter, and she tells him to stop hand-holding us through every problem and maybe I'll have some fun. The DM immediately disappears from voice chat. Oh dear, he's definitely upset. The druid and I talk with the fighter to try and figure out what is going on. The fighter keeps reiterating that we are being railroaded and her character is being made to feel stupid. The druid and I try to explain that we don't feel that way, so it's hard for us to understand why she thinks that. We ask for examples to help us understand, but the fighter just repeats the same thing over and over. Eventually, I leave to talk to the DM and make sure he's okay. He is definitely not okay. In fact, he's pissed. He rants and raves to me about how the fighter always pulls this, and that he is finally done with this. Apparently, she has pulled similar things in other campaigns he ran. He's not coming back. He never wants to talk to her again, and he's just done. I leave the chat with him and rejoin our group and inform them that the DM isn't coming back right now. He's upset, needs some time to cool off, and maybe we can reconvene later, but for now he needs some time to himself. The fighter continues to harp on him. I just leave. The aftermath. I finally get a chance to talk to the DM after everything cools down, and he apologises for his behaviour. He also explains how the fighter's behaviour had been slowly grating on him, and apparently the fighter had been equally critical to the DM outside of our game, via calls and private chat. Whilst this incident wasn't a huge deal, it was more the straw that broke the camel's back. I told the DM that he should probably air his grievances with the fighter so that they can try and make amends. He agrees, but says that he just needs time. I inform the fighter and the druid that the DM needs time to call off, and he will reach out when he's better. Over the next few days, the fighter becomes increasingly annoyed. She messages our group every day, asking for an update about the DM. She says she's messaged him a bunch of times, but he has apparently blocked her, so she's contacted him through every means possible. Apparently she's left a ton of voicemails as well. Actually, she's been trying to contact him since the blow-up happened. So much for letting him call off, I guess. The druid and I reiterate that the DM needs space. Just give him time to think. The fighter refuses. She actually told us no, she needs to talk to him right now. How dare he not consider how she feels. Eventually she realises that the only way to talk to the DM is through us. So she asks for the druid and I to pass along a message to the DM. To stop acting like a toddler, otherwise he's going to lose a friend. She asks us several times over several days, most of which I try to ignore. Not my circus, not my monkey. After ignoring these messages for a while, I finally cave and tell the fighter that this isn't my fight. I care about both of them, but I don't want to be the mediator or messenger between the two of them. I'm not comfortable being in the middle of this fight, and if they want to talk it out, the fighter will need to wait for the dungeon master to reach out when he's ready. The fighter then blocks me, deletes all of our chats, deletes the server made for her campaign, and disappears into the night. So that's how my first Dungeons & Dragons group and first campaign ever ended. It's been several months since it happened, and I'm still sort of upset about how it all went down. I think the situation definitely could have been better handled on all of our parts, but it is what it is. 
And there we have it. Right, well, what a story that was. Emotions certainly were high, and it really is sad to see how quickly a campaign can turn sour when two friends start to grate on one another. I have to give a lot of props to our protagonist here, who seemed to really try and be a calm and rational voice, advocating for communication when both parties were ready, and for not being willing to exchange messages on the fighter's behalf after telling them that the DM needed space. I really do empathise with the Dungeon Master on this one, as even from our writer's point of view, the sample list of the fighter's behaviour was bad enough, so when the DM said that they had been receiving private messages from the fighter as well, criticising them, then I have no doubt that those messages would have been worse than what they were willing to say in front of company. Ultimately, I really hope that our writer has gone on to join some really fun Dungeon Dragons campaigns, and that our DM has moved on, or at least moved past the event, and that the fighter has perhaps learned to control their temper, or be more empathetic to those around them. That's all I have for you tonight, but please remember the tavern is always open. Good night.